In today's video I will show you how to access the hidden menu which was added to my newly released firmware. This firmware will replace all the existing ones. There was some new functions added so I will go through them very quickly. But first let's see what happens when you power your Arduino for the first time. So firmware is set to three phase non tefferet FZ version with current monitoring without uh, Wi-Fi functionality. If you got different hardware setup you need to alter settings. So first thing you have to do is to access the hidden menu which can be accessed by pressing a button while the FZ is not powered or pressing the button and then pressing Arduino reset switch so it resets the microcontroller keep pressing that button until you see the message on the screen saying entering setup release the button as soon as you release a button you will get into a hidden menu there is six pages at the moment we will go quickly through them. To change a page you just press the button very shortly and it changes the page. I will explain quickly what every page does. So the first setup menu 01 it says LCD address which is E2C uh, address for LCD. Uh, I will show you later what this does. So let's skip it for now. So the second menu page lets you to choose how many phases you are using. For example, if you're using single phase setup, you need to change um, settings into a single phase. If you're using the three phase setup, you have to leave three phase setup in the menu. To, to change the settings, you have to press the button and keep it for a while till you see the changes in settings so remember the quick press uh, changes the page the longer press changes the settings in that page in third menu you can choose which version you are using if you're building a tethered charging station you must change this settings Sometimes people confused what means tethered and non tethered charging station, so I made a quick uh, example picture. Uh, if you look into it, you will understand very easily what that means. Basically, tethered charging station is uh, the charging station which has inbuilt cable and a plug for electric vehicle charging. And the non tether charging station is the one that comes with a socket, so you need additional cable to plug your vehicle in. Uh, I hope that's clear enough. Fourth page uh, lets you to choose if you are using current transformers for current monitoring. If you're using them, leave it enabled. If you're not using, then change it to disabled. Fifth page lets you to activate the serial data transmission. So this is used for Wi-Fi ASP module to monitor your FZ over the internet if you want to. And page number six. In this page, you must choose how often your LCD will be refreshed. What I mean by saying refreshed, there was some issues with E2C. Uh, line get getting corrupted because of electromagnetic interference or voltage spikes so then that happens the display starts displaying some nonsense symbols or letters and uh, my previous firmwares wasn't refreshing this until the charging state has changed so what I done I added some code which refreshes the screen communication periodically uh, so if it gets corrupted it fixes itself this comes with a little disadvantage that's why I made this uh, setting selectable 
the disadvantages that uh, the screen uh, flickers then it does the refresh so if you're not getting any interference if you eat to see line you can go to the highest settings so you got four options to choose from 5 seconds 15 seconds uh, 30 second and 60 seconds I will set it to 5 seconds so I can demonstrate what I mean uh, when I say screen flickers. Once you're done with uh, choosing correct settings, you can just reset your Arduino controller or just switch the power off and switch it on again. That's how you leave the hidden menu. Okay, so now if you look careful to the screen, you should see every 5 seconds it flickers a little bit. That's when the refresh happening. I'm not sure if this camera will catch this, but uh, hopefully it does. And uh, I will show what happens if I corrupt the E2C line just by disconnecting. As you see, it fully recovers. Let's do it one more time. Again, it recovers successfully. Now I'm going to show you what to do if you got the LCD screen that ha which has different uh, E to C address. Usually these LCD uh, screens comes with uh, E to C address set to 27 or 3F by default our firmware is set to 27 so if you got screen that uh, has address 3f you need to change the first settings in first page of a hidden menu that's very easy to do even without the screen let me show you so first what you need to do is to power your avisa off press a button and keep it now power uh, your FZ on and keep the button pressed for about 5 seconds then release it and press it again for 4 seconds and then release it again switch the power off and switch power back again and now you should see the working screen so now let's quickly go through all possible screen configurations or Avisa versions. First one as you see is a free face non-tethered with current monitoring function. As you see it shows set current, the cable maximum rated current, the actual current readings and the energy used or charging time displayed. The second option is Tethered version. The only difference is that it does not display the maximum current rating for a cable. Okay, so now this is a version for single phase non Tethered version with current monitoring. It displays the set current, the maximum current rating for a cable, the actual current, energy used and time of charging. Now this is a tethered version so the only thing is missing is maximum current rating for the cable. This is a single or three phase non tethered version with no current monitoring and the last one, this is Tethered uh, single or three phase version with no current monitoring. As you see, not much information is displayed on the screen, only time, charging time and the battery charging symbol and the set current, that's it. I want to speak a little bit about the LoLin uh, Wi-Fi module. If your Wi-Fi port uh, LED stopped working, if it's off or just permanently on, 
that means there is something wrong with uh, communication between the server and your login board so the first thing that you need to check is if your MQTT server is uh, up and running if it's down then uh, the LED on the login board will stop flashing and you won't get any Wi-Fi functionality especially if you use a macchiato broker which is free in recent days the server keeps crashing every few days so I'm not recommending it anymore please uh, use the paid MQTT brokers or just make your own local broker on your network then MQTT broker gets down and if you have your FZ locked uh, it's a bit annoying because you now are unable to charge your car because you have no option to unlock it so please choose MQTT broker very carefully and this new firmware has an option to override such lock uh, let me demonstrate how to do that so let's lock the FZ first now you see it's locked and uh, if the MQTT server is down you won't be able to unlock your FZ so that means you unable to charge it what you have to do is press a button and switch your FZ off or just press reset on Arduino microcontroller release it and, uh, get into a hidden menu then go into Wi-Fi page and change it to disabled now reset your FZ and you should be able to initiate the charging I hope these instructions they're clear enough if you got any questions just leave us a message uh, by using the contact us form on our website and we will get back to you as soon as we can thanks for watching